filling out form I-131, application for travel document, is a critical step for individuals who wish to obtain a travel document, such as a re-entry permit, refugee travel document, or advance parole. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to fill out this form accurately. Step 1. Obtain the form I-131. You can download form I-131 from the USCIS website. Ensure that you are using the latest version of the form. Step 2. Read the instructions before you begin filling out the form. Carefully read the form I-131 instructions to understand which sections apply to you as the form is used for different types of travel documents. Step 3. Complete Part 1. Information about you. This section collects basic personal information. Fill it out accurately. 1. Family name, last name, given name, first name, middle name. Enter your full legal name. 2. Other names used. If you have used other names, like a maiden name or alias, include them here. 3. U.S. mailing address. Enter the address where USCIS can send you correspondence. 4. Physical address. If different, if your physical address is different from your mailing address, list it here. 5. Date of birth. Use the format MMDDYYY. 6. Country of birth and country of citizenship nationality. Enter these as they appear on your official documents. 7. Class of admission. State how you enter the U.S. For example, student visa, asylum, etc. 8. Alien registration number, A number. If applicable, enter your A number. You will have one if you are a green card holder or another status holder. 9. USCIS online account number. If you have an account, enter it here. 10. Gender and marital status. Check the appropriate boxes. Bag shoe step 4, complete part 2, application type. Indicate the type of travel document you are requesting. 1. I am applying for, select 1, re-entry permit. Check this if you are a permanent resident planning to travel abroad temporarily. Refugee travel document. Check this. If you are a refugee or asylee seeking to travel outside the U.S., advance parole document for individuals who are currently in the U.S. If you need permission to re-enter the U.S. while a certain immigration benefit is pending. Advance parole document for individuals outside the U.S. Use this if you need advance parole to return to the U.S. Humanitarian parole if applying for entry based on urgent entry Two, purpose of trip. Provide a brief explanation of why you need this travel document. Three, date of intended departure. State when you plan to leave the U.S. Four, expected length of trip. Estimate how long you will be outside the U.S. Five, countries to visit. List the countries you plan to visit. Diagnostic I, Step 5. Complete Part 3. Processing Information 1. Class of Admission. List how you are currently classified in the U.S. E.g. Refugee, Lawful, Permanent Resident, etc. 2. Application Filing Location. Indicate if you are applying while in the U.S. or abroad. Atelier Step 6 completes Part 4. 
information about your proposed travel. If you are applying for advanced parole, describe the reasons for your proposed travel, including humanitarian or personal reasons. Step 7, complete part 5. Information about your marital history. Provide details of your current and any prior marriages, if applicable. Step 8. Complete Part 6. Information about your parents. If you are applying for a refugee travel document, you may need to provide information about your parents including their names, dates of birth, and citizenship status. Step 9. Complete Part 7. Complete only if applying for re-entry, permit, or refugee travel document. Have you ever been issued a re-entry permit or refugee travel document? If yes, provide details about the previous document, including its number, the date it was issued and whether it is still valid did you ever lose your re-entry permit or refugee travel document if so explain the circumstances step 10 complete part 8 complete only if applying for advanced parole document if applying for advanced parole, provide details about your intended travel, including 1. The purpose of the trip, a detailed explanation of why you need advanced parole. 2. The date of intended departure, when you plan to leave the United States. Step 11. Complete Part 9. Complete only if applying for humanitarian parole. If applying for humanitarian parole, explain why you are requesting it and provide details about the individual or organization in the United States sponsoring your parole request. Step 12. Complete Part 10. Signature of applicant, applicants, signature, sign, and date the form. If you do not sign, your application will be rejected. Date, time, telephone, number. Provide your contact information. Step 13. Complete part 11. Signature of person preparing this application, if other than the applicant. If someone else helped you complete the form, they must complete this section, provide their name, address, and sign. Step 14, review and attach supporting documents. Review the form carefully for any errors. Gather and attach the necessary supporting documents, such as copy of your green card, or proof of immigration status. Copies of previous travel documents, if applicable. Two, passport style photos, if required. The specific documents required depend on the type of travel document you are requesting. Be sure to check the Form I-131 instructions for detailed requirements. Step 15. Submit the application. Pay the filing fee. Ensure you pay the correct fee as specified on the USCIS fee page. Mail the form. Mail your completed form I-131 and supporting documents to the appropriate address listed on the USCIS website under the filing instructions for your specific travel document. Make sure to keep a copy of everything for your records and track your application 
using the receipt number USCIS provides after submission.